Hey everybody and welcome back for another super awesome gun review. Thanks for joining me again today. I've got a really awesome firearm today uh, that I've had for a good long while. I've had a chance to put it through a really extensive battery of tests in every way that I could put it through to see what kind of quality it was, how it was going to hold up, was it a good investment on the money, and... Of course, you know by the title, we are talking about the Canik SFX. I'm sorry, the Canik TP9 SFX. And this is basically their race gun from a couple years ago. I know they've got a couple new models out. I think they've got the Rival out now. That's a little bit more, it's a little bit fancier, I think, than this. Might have some uh, different colored barrel. It's got some some cool color things schemes going on. Um, it, I think it's basically the same. They've got the Mete out as well, which is kind of similar to this. It's just a uh, more carry focused gun, whereas this is really just a pure on race gun. And if you don't know what a race gun is, it's pretty much just let's take it to the range and shoot as fast as we can target shooting, speed shooting, uh, all that competitive type of thing. So, again, I've shot this over 5,000 rounds at this point. I'm not exactly sure. I don't have a definite count on the, the, the round numbers, but it's over 5,000. I know that for a fact. It has been extremely reliable once it broke in. Uh, when I first bought this, it had a couple of issues when I was chambering around right off the bat. It was kind of getting hung up a little bit. But like with most things, most all the guns I have, I polished up the feed ramp. I polished a little bit on, on the inside things that, that needed to be smooth as possible. And once I put, I'd say, 100 rounds through it, I haven't had a single malfunction with this firearm since then. It's been rock solid. There's a lot of cool elements to this. You got the ported slide, which reduces weight, helps some heat escape from the barrel, creates more accuracy. You've got fiber optic front sight. On this particular firearm, I have a relatively cheap red dot at the rear. And the reason I have that on there, and it was really easy to do, is because Canik ships sells these guns, not necessarily ships them, but they come with a wide assortment of all kinds of accessories. So this is the stock rear sight, which is is just plain black groove. Um, nothing special there, but again, fiber optic front sight. But in the package that you get, you get four different red dot mounts so that'll pretty much take care of any red dot that you can find that's that's pistol oriented we'll be able to mount right up to this gun you get an, a spare back strap you got an extra back strap you can put on there i found that the one that came on it is the one that fits me the best you've got a cleaning couple of cleaning tools that come with it you've got a really cool kydex outside the waistband holster which is very high quality i, I like this um this Kydex holster a lot. I don't use it that much, but it's it's really high quality. It works well. The only drawback to the holster is that the uh, belt, uh, the belt loop things here, the clips um, are not the highest quality. If they were going to improve anything, the clips would be what I would improve with that. But hey, it's a free Kydex holster, so that's really cool. Uh, two magazines, two 19 round magazines. So 19 plus one in there. They say 18, but I'm pretty sure you can hold 19 in here if I'm not mistaken. You get a little box of interchangeable magazine release buttons. You got some spare screws, some washers, some Allen wrenches, spare parts in here. And you get this cool little doodad right here which is something I've not seen on any other gun, at least not in this price range or anywhere close to it, which screws into the optic mount, and it gives you this really cool way to rack the slide, which is very, very convenient, especially if you, uh, you know, have any kind of arthritis or hand problems. 
that's like a super cool thing. Now, from my understanding, in competition, in the classes that this gun would, would be the most competitive in, you actually can't use this because I think it puts you into the unlimited category. Um, and so if you want to just take this right out and compete with it, you actually don't get to use that. But you got really good positive serrations on the front of the side. You got positive serrations on the rear of the side, which are not as easy to get to with the red dot on there. That's just, you know, the way that it is. Uh, you've got Picatinny rail up front, which you can mount a laser or a light or, or whatever you want to mount to the front there. I don't know what you would mount besides a laser and a light. You can mount a lollipop on the front of that thing, I guess, if you wanted to. But it's a really all-inclusive package. It, it's a great gun. The barrel is, if I'm not mistaken, four and a quarter inches. I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen. It, it's a nice long barrel. Um, so you got a lot of accuracy. It doesn't heat up quite as fast as like a Glock 19 or something like that. It takes down, it, the takedown is easy. It's much like a Glock. Okay, breaks right down. You guys know how all that comes apart and all that stuff. But really, really good shooting gun. Now, I can't sit here and tell you guys that I am the authority on much of anything besides blues guitar and motorcycle racing. I, I shoot for fun. I'm not a professional shooter. Um, I have done some competition shooting though. I will tell you that I have, I do have experience with that, but not professionally. But as far as this gun goes, I haven't shot any of those, you know, $5,000 2011s. I don't have experience with those. So I'm sure there's a whole bunch of those things that are just incredibly badass that would probably put this to shame. But who really has the money <laughs> to, to go out and pick up one of those? And if you do, you probably got 10 things just like that. So for something in a, in a budget-minded person's arsenal, this is one of the sweetest shooting pistols, race pistols, that you can possibly come by. The trigger on this particular gun is the best trigger on any gun that I own. And when I was looking at this before I bought it, I, I watched some reviews just like you're probably doing. Uh, I studied up on it. There was a couple of competitors out there in a similar price range and a little bit more. And I was thinking, is, is it possible that this trigger on this gun is as good as all these people keep raving about? Can it be this amazing device of technological mastery and let me tell you it is it's the sweetest freaking trigger i have ever used on any handgun that i've ever picked up it's it's pretty soft so or it's not soft it's pretty light so i don't think it would be great as a carry gun i'm not 100 percent sure on all of their other ones i have shot a couple of other of the smaller uh, more carry focused canics and the trigger is not as, as light as, as this one is. But they are all very, very, very good. Um, just really, really break. The break is very predictable. It's really crisp, easy to use, easy to shoot really fast. If you have fantasies of being a speed shooter or, or do any kind of competition shooting, it would be hard to imagine going wrong with the TP9 SFX. Um, just, I was blown away by it, if you can't tell. Uh, so these are manufactured by Century Arms up in Vermont. Um, or Century Arms is in Vermont. I, I don't think these are manufactured in America. I believe it's a Turkish gun or something. Um, but striker fired. You got the indicator back here at the back of when it is actually cocked. And no safety. You don't need a safety in a competition gun. But just a superb shooting machine. Um, I've got this ADE red dot on there, like I said, which is an inexpensive one. I, I didn't want to invest too much money 
in this particular firearm because I like to buy a bunch of guns. And so I try not to spend too much money on any of them, modifying them. So I think this, the red dot on this was like a, I don't know, maybe 150 bucks. I, I know I didn't spend 200 on it, but it's been really solid. I think this is their Delta model and it's a six MOA and it works really well for me. I don't have any problem just ringing the bell with this thing out to 15 yards at all now you can make longer shots don't get me wrong you can you can pretty easily put this thing on target out to 25 yards maybe even longer if you're younger and have better eyesight than i do but uh it it's a really really accurate gun i'm sure you've seen in some of the footage that i've put up or some of the footage that's playing right now however i cut this video together um Really easy to put on target. Really easy to shoot. Super smooth. Very low recoil. Easy to use. The magazines, even though it doesn't have a real mag well, uh, it, it's easy to make a reload. Like I said, two 19-round magazines come from uh, come with this package. They're Megar magazines. So apparently these guys are really high quality. I don't know a whole lot about those, those magazine manufacturers, but I've heard that, that that's a really high quality magazine manufacturer. And you can see it adds a little extension down there. Not that you need it because I've got giant hands and I can easily get uh, the pinky finger on there and, and manipulate this gun. But that's pretty much what you're working with when you're locked and loaded and ready to go. It's a really well balanced firearm once the magazine is fully loaded. Feels really good. Uh, I always kind of prefer with a nine millimeter to shoot 124 grain, but it, it has been very accurate with a wide variety of 115s and 124s of all different types of brands. Of ammunition I've had zero issues with this gun not shooting exactly where I thought it was gonna shoot no matter what I was feeding it even hand loads it's it's just rock solid and like I said I've got over 5,000 rounds in this gun it shows very very little wear if any really I, I've been super surprised to pull it apart and show you the the barrel a little bit which has almost nowhere on that barrel anywhere you can see the nice polished job hopefully it'll focus on that you can see where i polished that feeding ramp the slide has nowhere to speak of anywhere on it the springs all feel nice and crisp and as tight as they did um, the first time i used them um, I don't have any doubt that this gun will run for a long, long time. The, the frame, super lightweight polymer, of course, really, really lightweight. Nice and quiet, nothing rattling around in there, and that just amazing trigger mechanism, which I'm pretty sure is, I think, Century or, or Canic uses like a walther trigger or something like that i can't remember i'll i'll try to do a little research and throw it up on the screen but i believe it's derived from another firearm um at least the design comes from that but man all that stuff you've heard about these things as far as just the sweetest trigger in the world it, it's all true another really cool thing that comes in the package uh of this this whole set up here is is a nice hard case i'm not going to pick it up because i got kind of stuff sitting all over it right here in front of me but you get a nice hard plastic case with fitted cut out foam on the inside um i'll i'll throw a picture up of it right now it's it's an excellent value i think the new rival i saw at buds for about 650 i think i paid less than that for this one if i'm not mistaken i got this from from Appalachian uh, Gun and Pawn, uh, which is one of my local stores. Um, and just have been really, really happy with it. So if you're looking for a race gun or you're just, a, a, <laughs> you are just um, a little suspect, a little suspicious of where there are all these rumors about 
volcanic are actually true. Can these things be as good as people say? Because I wasn't familiar with them uh, before I, I really started looking into to getting a race gun on the cheap. I, I really didn't didn't know much about Canik. Um, I, I believe that they're a relatively new company, but I watched you know Hickok Forty Five, some of the YouTube guys, um, all the the standard dudes talk about these things, and I just thought, can it be as good as everybody is trying to make it out to be? And without a doubt, it's every bit as good as people say it is, if not better. I am just constantly in awe of, of how good this gun is. Now, in the end here, I am going to tell you one negative thing that I found with this particular firearm. I'm not going to show you exactly what it is because it would be almost impossible. But with these interchangeable optic plates, if you can see that right there, there's two inserts. There's two little stainless inserts threads, threaded inserts in here where you actually attach the optic to this plate. Now this plate attaches, of course, to the top of the side and then the optic attaches to the plate. The only ding that I've had for this gun is when I was installing this one and I needed this plate with it to work with this optic. One of those little stainless inserts was not quite right. It was not inserted it had not been installed perfectly and as a result it was kind of eating up the screw the allen head screw i'm sorry the torx head screw if i'm not yeah those are torx bits it was eating up the screw a little bit so long story short i had to do a little bit of machining a little bit of cleaning that up I got my taps and out and, and, and tried to really clean that thread up, and I, I couldn't actually do it. I've done that kind of stuff a lot. I do a lot of meticulous machining work. It's, it's something I'm very comfortable with, I'm very familiar with. I've had to do it for years and years. And since it was stainless and it was an insert, what really happened is it started coming out on me. And so I just kind of had to make do with what I had, and... I don't know exactly what's going to happen when I try to take this red dot off. Luckily, I got a model that you don't need to remove to change the battery. So I may not have to take it off anytime soon, but I'm sure the day will come uh, where I either get a better, more modern red dot in the future or something, or I just want to put the, the standard rear sap back on, whatever that may be. I'm sure the day will come when I'll have to get that particular screw out of there. And it's going to be a real pain in the ass. There's no doubt about it. But if I have to drill it out, I have to drill it out. It's not going to be the end of the world. It won't be like it's the only one I've ever had to drill out. But that's the only thing that uh, I can say about this gun that was negative at all, really. Um, super solid package. Super great price. Really great value for what you get. Surprisingly capable surprisingly fast i really like to shoot speed shoot as fast as i can and you can just bury that thing on the target and and just crack them off it's it the gun's faster than you are i guarantee you unless you are you know one of those top 20 guys the gun can do more than you can do so there we go that's the canic tp9 sfx i know there are like I said, the Mete and the Rival are out now, and I don't have any doubt in my mind that the trigger is going to be every bit as good as these, and the quality is, I can't speak for it firsthand, but I would be willing to uh, make some bets that it's, it's every bit as good as what this one is, and just really, really cool. So if you're in the market for a Canic, if you're looking for one of their carry guns, um, you know, their little Glock 19 sized, uh, I think they call it a subcompact, but I think it's more of a compact. It's a really good shooter. I, I've, I've rented one of those at, at a range and, and cracked off a few rounds on one of those, and I just about bought one. I think they run about 450, and I just about bought one, but I bought another gun that I will do some reviews of soon. 
So anyway, thanks for joining me again today, everybody. Sorry for rattling on so long about this Canik, but it's a pretty cool shooter, and I'm really excited about it, just having it out. I think I'll go shoot it tomorrow. But um, enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you at the range. Yeah.